about a week ago, I released a video about using the new relight feature in Resolve 18.5 to do some cool day for night effects. And some of you were nice enough to point out that I was doing something stupid, so dumb. And uh, it's true. You see the fancy technology behind Relight that generates the normal map actually takes a lot of computer power. And when you have three nodes like this, each running that effect, it's taking three times that amount of power. So if you do want to run multiple instances of Relight, AKA you want to add multiple fake lights to the scene, here's a better way to do it. We'll just kind of move these over here and let's just add a corrector here and take our input image there. And let's put another instance of Relight onto this node. And I'm gonna go into highlight mode just so we can see only what's happening in this node by clicking this button right here. And now we have our preview here where we can normally do our Relight stuff. But what we can do is go up here to output surface map, which I was using to just show you that normal map. And we can use this normal map in all three of these nodes without having to regenerate it each time. Oh baby. All we have to do is take the output of this normal. Let's just, let's rename this, okay? And we'll plug that into the second input of each of these nodes. That's the second little green input like this. Then we just need to switch to each of these nodes. And here where it says surface map, instead of saying use internal, let's say use input two. And same thing here, use input two. And surprisingly, this third one, we say use input two. And so now all it has to do is think about that normal one time. And then it can do the fancy dance, fancy schmancy just once. And then we can add our lights after that without having to recalculate this normal every frame three times. Okay. A lot of you were asking how this plays back. Well, let's just play it back. Plays back. Okay. It's all right. It's not perfectly real time. It's actually, it's about 11 or 12 frames a second, but it's not terrible. You can at least see what's going on for the amount of work it's doing here. That's pretty decent. So now we have that playing back and this is using just the one normal map that it's generating here in this node and using that as the normal map for each of these nodes. And it doesn't have to recalculate it each time because it's already done, been calculated. Wow. You wanna see something else crazy? You can right click this node and go down to node cache and say on. What this'll do if we let go of things for a few seconds is it will think about that normal map in the background. I can hear my computer spinning up. And once it turns blue, it's already thought about the normal map. And then look what happens. Oh, baby, look at that. Look at that performance. That's pretty good. So I guess you can say things are getting pretty serious. Look at this. No problem, just play it back in real time. That's pretty neat. And what's cool is since this has already thought about the normal map, I can go to this other one and move this light around, mess with it, move it around, so easy, play it back, and it plays back in real time still. So that's pretty cool. If you set this up nicely, it's not that big a deal. Isn't that neat? So thank you to everyone who pointed out that I was doing things in a non-ideal way. I always want to show the very best way to do things here on this channel. Sometimes I try and keep a video basic and I skip over some of those things that are sort of important. So this is like, you know, part two, electric boogaloo of that. Hey, if you want to learn more about color grading and all of that kind of stuff, whoosh, we have a class for that. It's called Pro Color Grading in DaVinci Resolve. It's available now at groundcontrol.film. Make sure to check that out if you haven't yet. And if you have checked it out and bought it, well, then thanks. And if you've checked it out and didn't buy it, and you're like, nah, man, that's not cool. Well, then that's okay, too. I, I hope that you have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching.